Hey guys, it's Ultimate TNT. Welcome back to Hush Hush. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, probably should have read something before it started. But anyways, um, so when we last left off, we went on a date with, I think, two or three girls. Let's see what's over there. Claim the prize without scratching like a boss. You turn the ticket in to a cashier nearby, and they confirm the ticket is a winner. Plus a hundred dollars. Let's go! You pocket, you pocket the cash, feeling that all is right in the world, and continue on your way. Okay, now it's for me to t <gasps> Eli, it's been so long, my dude! Alright, I'm gonna let this pass by. Drop everything. It's a text from Eli! Look! I've got a favor to ask. I've got a super boring day coming up at work, and I wanted your help to pass the time. We can dress up, dress down, dress in dresses, whatever floats your it, your yacht. Lin, Lin interested? Huh? It'll be so much fun with you here. You busy Thursday, Thursday the eleventh in the evening? I don't know. Let me see. Huh? I see here. Afternoon, morning. Nope. Looks like I'm free. What can I say but Eli, Eli, oh. <laughs> what? Looks like I'm free, Eli. Use. I've got plans for you, Buckaroo. We're going to have some major fun. See you then. Bye. Alright, see you later, Eli. Man, it's been so long since I talked to Eli. I thought I ruined my chances with Eli. Or prevented him from, from seeing him again. Anyways, let's go to the fortune teller. I feel like I need a fortune told right now. Skip that. Alright, 25. Right on. Right on. Right. Alright, yeah. Don't ask skip it, cuz. Mio's next secret is the source of her fame. Keeping aim without shame is the name of the game. Hmm. All right. Hold on. Let me write this down real quick. Really, because right. I think everything will be go. useful. Good luck. Arigato. And I hear my dog outside. Hold on. Let's go see Quill. All right. You arrive home that evening completely wiped out. It isn't until you reach the front door that you recall recall Quill mentioning something about plans tonight. Yep. You crack the front door open, wait to see if a uh, herd of gear bills where something rushes out. Instead, only a strange, pleasant smell greets you. Hmm, interesting. As you enter the house, the smell of lemon and cinnamon hits you like a stink candle shoved by your nose. You peek into the kitchen, and see Quill is standing there, holding a cup of tea. Various cups and dishes, dishwar, dish, dishwar, dishwar, are set out, including a teapot. There are also several stuffed animals and, and a sock puppet. Quill's eyes lit up when she sees you. She sips delicately at her tea. She, she sips, not sits. As though pretending to have just noticed you and smiles. No, oh, cute pic. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. I didn't hear you come in. Nice day, isn't it? Nice day for a tea party? Yeah, it's a nice day. I wanted to make you something really special to thank you for being so nice to me. So I made you a tea cozy out of an old tea cozy. I had one of those. But then I realized that you need a teapot for a tea cozy. Luckily, I found one in your neighbor's kitchen. Did you bring it to my neighbor's, neighbor's house? So I made you super special tea and put in every tea bag I could find in the house. It's very strong flavored, which means it's good. Probably. I guess my, my mom's cooking something downstairs. Would you care for some company with your cup of tea? This is so thoughtful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And yes, it was thoughtful. I thought about it for several hours before doing it because it's the thought that counts. Yes. 
Here, have a seat. I found this one over there. You can have it. Let me introduce you to our guests. This is his lordship, the Earl of Jam. That's Mrs. Buttertump. And that handsome fellow is a sock I glued eyeballs to. Um, which one's the sock? Oh, this was a sock. I mean, they all look like socks. I don't know what I'm talking about. Are they little pokies? I call him Sock. Because that's what he is. Well, that's what he used to be. Now he's a puppy. Chicker, would you like one lump or two? I would offer you milk, but it mysteriously disappeared today over several hours. Hmm. Quill, what is all of this? What's going on here? Mm. I told you, it's a tea party. And you're the guest of honor, which is a good thing. I used to think it was guest of honor and was worried you would need to sit on me. Yeah. But I found out it was something different. Alright, cool. So... Um, I hope you enjoy it. You know, I, I should have gone for I don't know why I clicked that one. So now we make small talk. I'm not sure how it works, but I imagine we must talk like we're really small. I'll go first. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I can't reach that box on the counter. How will I? Banana. Palashes. All right. Psh, 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 and there were four of them. Okay, your turn. Small talk. Nah, definitely not that, but... I already messed up in the beginning. And I don't really want to get this one wrong again. So, boys, whisper to her will explain what a small talk is. Small talk doesn't mean to talk small. It means to chit-chat. Talk about whatever's on your mind. Oh, wow. That makes a lot more sense. Only, it doesn't. Also... Isn't that just called talk? The rules of yeah. polite conversation are sneaky and annoying. I want to scratch them with my back feet. You haven't sipped your tea. Darn it! Oh, so close. So motivation and this one are both going to be commonly seen in most girls. Most every girl. Tech savvy is more for Mio. And then both is more like Cassie and then and Eero. Luck is maybe Quill, but motivation and Swave is for every girl. Now, take a sip. You sip at the insanely strong tea, which tastes of lemon, cinnamon, dashmin, chiao, and mint. Chia. Uh, it causes your eyes to water and you started coughing. Oh, I must oh. have made it wrong. Do you think it needs more tea bags? Think... Or maybe you have a bezoar. If you need to excuse yourself, feel free. I'll stop having fun until you get back. I... What's that, Sock? Oh, yes. I'll ask them. No, you just put too much. Sock was wondering where you get your business. He's hmm? thinking about getting into business himself, but is not sure where to get some. Is there a business store? Ah, see, ah, see I knew it. <laughs> ah, if only. I don't have enough luck. I got mo most of my business from office. That's where they grow, grow them. Oh yes, of course. I always wondered what offices were for. The mystery is solved at last. Mm -hmm. Sock appreciates the advice. Nice. I can tell. So, I would like to play a game, but you, as my guest, get to help choose the rules. It's called The Most You Know. The Most You Know. We each right. get to ask a question, and everyone must answer or lose their tea party privileges. I'm sorry the rules are so harsh. Yeah, that's alright. The only rule is, you have to ask the questions like this. What is the most blank you know? Hmm. Then what? everyone answers. What is the like most... Play? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Yay! Willing participants make the game a lot more fun and less illegal. <laughs> Wait, do you, do you often force people to play? As the oldest person here, Mrs. Butterdump gets to go first. What is your question, Mrs. B? Who's butter? Okay, what? Okay, who? First off, I think you introduced me to three, but there's four sock puppets here. So which ones? I I I I'm I'm just gonna stop questioning. Quill stares at the doll called Mrs. Butterdom, which is neither male nor seemingly related to a butter in any way. Oh, so, what? Then why is it called Mrs. Butter? Oh, whatever. 
Quill nods several times, then looks at you expectantly. Oh, sorry. I'll translate. Mrs. Mm -hmm. B asked, what is the most adorable thing you know? Okay. My answer is that kitties are sometimes born with extra toes. This is called polydactylism. Polyta polydactylism? It makes them look like they have mittens on, and it means they have extra beans. It's the best thing ever. Ha ha ha. Curl looks to Sock and laughs at his answer. Then she looks at to the Earl of Jam and shrunk shrunches her nose at at her his. Then she looks at you. Um the furry tophids on the inside of a cat's ears are called ear furnishing. Oh my god! I didn't know that. I didn't know a cute thing about kitties. This is the best day of my life. Yay! Okay, Sock, it's your turn. Mm. He asked, what's the most delicious thing you know? What's the most delicious thing you know? Oh, Sock. All right. Always thinking with your tummy. Classic Sock. My answer mm -hmm. is fish cakes. And I'll have you know that's a universal answer consistent across all timelines. All right, cool. Sure, but that's probably what every quill says. After a brief pause, listening to Earl's and Mrs. B's answer, Quill looks at you. I am partial to cream-based dessert, preferably from the frozen kind. Oh my goodness, yes! 100 yeses! Wind up on a yes stage dancing a yes dance! The Earl says that he's changing his answer to yours, and you may be required to change your answer. He's speaking with his lawyers. It's what? the Earl's turn. He's asking what's the most metal thing you know. What's the most metal thing you know? All right. I think my answer is tigers. Tigers are metal. I would love to be a tiger for a day. Interesting. Who looks to you? I don't think she's going to like that. <laughs> Cucumbers. Oh, I changed my answer. I changed my answer. Oh my goodness. My heart is racing now. I don't think I did very good that round. Cool girl's quiet. She takes a sip of her tea, then puts it down on the saucer. She takes a deep breath, then looks at you hesitantly. For a moment, she sits in silence, slowly and softly blinking her eyes, until she finally nods at you. Okay, your turn for a question. What is the most dangerous thing you know? Quill cuddles her eyes and scrunches up her face. She shakes her head several times as though disagreeing with herself, her hands tying into a fist. <laughs> she makes a growling cat sound before finally blurting out her answer without looking at you. Knowing something you're not supposed to is the most dangerous thing. Seeing something you weren't supposed to is the most dangerous thing. Ah. And secret number two unlocked. Let's go. Oh, sorry, that answer was very, very big, and it took a lot to lift it out of my head. Ah, okay, now I see. So she's in a run from someone because she saw something that she's not supposed to be have seen. Interesting. Wait, how many dates do I have only? Five? Oh. And I, oh. But I, please don't tell me when I said so. Okay. It's a secret. I'm only telling you guys because you're my friends. Oh, don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Oh? There's a sudden loud knock at the door. Kill jumps to her feet and hisses. Then disappears down the hall towards your room. A voice from outside calls in. Police! Open up! Hey, uh, hey, uh... Ooh, there's a doorbell here. Wait, is it Fumi? Bruh. The doorbell rings. You make your way to the front door and look outside. You see the detective you spoke to last week standing outside. She has a stern expression. You get the di distinct feeling you're from front door may not survive a legitimate sho shoulder check from her. Yep, you open the door. <sighs> Saving real quick. Alright. Hello, I'm Detective Fumi. We spoke previously. Damn. Alright, remember? 
Good. Then we can dispense with formalities. Okay. You are currently renting this house from Cat's Meow Vacation Rentals, correct? Uh, yeah. And you took possession of the property early last week? Technically, yes. But I've barely been here. What was all the sleepovers I've been having? <laughs> Spare me the details of your sexual context. <laughs> and let's focus on the relevant facts. <laughs> so sorry about that. Did you have any contact with the previous tenant? Hmm? Did you exchange information at all? Or did they relinquish the keys for the property to you? No. I just arrived and the place was ready for me. So the place was clean and ready for your arrival on... Monday the 1st. That's correct. She scratches more notes on her notepad. Just a few more questions. Did the previous tenant leave behind any property or forwarding contact information? Mm, and have nope. you noticed any unusual or suspicious persons frequenting the property? Define unusual or suspicious. Unusual. Any person who rises to the level of notability in your immediate surroundings. A child on a bike? Not unusual. A person dressed as a koala for no apparent reason? Unusual. Mm. Suspicious. A person who appears to be engaged in atypical, potentially criminal behavior. Old person walking their dog? Not suspicious. Dog walking a person. Suspicious. Maybe I do have to increase my dark skills. They really would be useful. By those definitions, I haven't seen either. I see. She scratches some additional notes on her notepad. Very well. And that's all for now, then. All I'm right. highly certain we'll be speaking again soon. Alright, well then. See you later, Fumi. The detective turns and walks to her car. An unmarked marked black sedan. She doesn't look back or make eye contact as she leaves. Okay, after a few minutes, you go to the bedroom and find Ko hiding under your bed. Is she gone? Yes, it's safe to come out. Thank you for not telling her I was here. I was worried I would have to scratch her to make her go away. And I don't like doing that. Oh, trust me, you don't want to scratch her. She has a gun. She has a gun. I'm also glad I didn't need to run outside. I don't feel like being an outdoor kitty right now. Mm-hmm. I think our tea party is over. But I had a wonderful time. Except for the part when the mean lady came and scared me. Mm -hmm. It was nice talking to you. You make me feel better when we talk. That's a special gift to have. Reach under her and scratch her ear. Brr, that feels so good. Thank you. That's another special gift you have. Alright, mm -hmm. you better say goodnight. I need to go run around downstairs on all the furniture for a little while for no reason. Alright. Good night, friend. Alright, good night, Quill. Nice. Pretty good. Pretty good. Found an Easter egg pig. I'm gonna look at that real quick. And now I'm lovey dovey category with uh, Quill. Let's go. Alright. Like this one, which is super important. The event of the day play over and over in your mind. How long can you keep up juggling so many love interests? Right? You wait to Caribbean limbo music. Your alarm clock asks you, how long can you go? You hit the snooze button. A little too hard. <laughs> you never know. Alright, it's morning. 